Hey peeps, what's up Manchi here, back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can transfer data from your old iPhone to your new iPhone. So on the left we have the old one which is the iPhone 14 Pro, on the right we have the new one which is the iPhone 15 Pro and we're going to transfer data from the 14 Pro to the 15 Pro and we are not going to use iCloud. Now there are a few things which you do need to keep in mind. The new iPhone needs to be factory reset and on the setup page. I was playing around with it, which is why I will now have to factory reset it. So you will go into settings, general, scroll down, you will see transfer or reset iPhone. And herein, we are going to say erase all content and setting. And as you can see, it is telling me that it is going to erase this iPhone. It is going to erase the apps and data and the eSIM. So we're going to say continue and we're going to say delete eSIM and erase data. While that is resetting for the old one, you need to make sure that it is connected to a Wi-Fi connection and the fact that both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are turned on. Next thing we need to make sure is that both of them either have enough battery or just connect them to a charger while you're transferring data from your old iPhone to your new iPhone. And I'm pretty sure your next question will be, hey Manji, how long is this process going to take? Well, it all depends on how much data you are transferring. In my case, you can see on your screen right now, I will be transferring around 74.1 GB of data from my old iPhone to my new iPhone. And of course, both of them either need to have same amount of storage or the new one can have more amount of storage than what you have on the old one. All right, so the iPhone 15 Pro here has been factory reset successfully. We are on the hello screen. We're going to say swipe up to open. And as you can see, I'm already getting a message of setting up a new iPhone on my old iPhone 14 Pro. Now, in case you do not get this message, all you need to make sure is that both the phones are close by and unlock and lock your old phone. And if that also does not work, then what you need to do is you need to restart both the iPhones. And before you ask me, hey Manchi, how do I restart my iPhone? Well, all you need to do is press volume up, volume down, and then press and hold the power button. And bam, here it is. We're getting slide to power off. Now on the old phone, we are going to select continue. And of course, you will have to enter the passcode for your old iPhone. Once you've entered the passcode, it is going to say it is connecting to our new iPhone. And bam, here it is. It is now telling me to hold my new iPhone up to the camera. So we're going to pick up my old iPhone, point the camera towards this rotating thing which we see, and then hopefully it scanned it. And yes, it did scan it. I got, I felt a subtle vibration and a green thing. And here it is. On my old iPhone, I am now getting the message of setting up a new iPhone again and going to say set up for me. And then on the new one, it is asking me to enter the passcode of my other iPhone. So I'm going to do that. Now, once you enter your passcode of the old phone on the new iPhone, if your carrier supports transferring of physical SIM to eSIM or transferring of eSIM from one iPhone that is the old one to the new one, then this is where you will get that option. And in my case, for my specific carrier, all I need to do is open the app for my carrier and install the eSIM for my current phone number on my new iPhone. In your case, it might be different. So you might have to do some research on how to transfer your eSIM from one iPhone to the other one in case your carrier does not support it during the setup process of the new iPhone or transferring of data from the old iPhone to the new iPhone. Once I did that, it is telling me it is setting up your iPhone on the new one and the old one is saying finish on new iPhone. And now it is telling me it may take a few minutes for activating your iPhone. So I think the activation process is happening right now on the new one. And I got a message about data and privacy. I'm going to say continue over here. For Face ID, either you can set it up right now. I just am going to select set it up later. Transfer data from Manji's iPhone. Yes, we do want to do that. So we're going to select continue. 
and at this point it is telling me it is setting up my apple id we have the terms and conditions we're going to say agree and it is now signing me into my apple id on this new iphone 15 pro all right so on this next screen we're going to leave everything as is and going to select continue location services i prefer to keep them disabled it is telling me to add my card we can say add this card later on and for siri i will say set up later in settings emergency sos we're going to say continue and bam there it is it is now transferring data from my iphone 14 pro to my iphone 15 pro now again as i mentioned in the beginning of the video how much time this will take depends on how much data you have i think i had around 75 or 76 gb of data to be transferred from my iphone 14 pro to the iphone 15 pro and as mentioned on the displays of the 14 pro and the 15 pro while you're transferring data from one iphone to another make sure that both of them are close to each other and both of them are connected to a power source so we just got the message of transfer complete and it took around 15 minutes for it to transfer 74 GB of data. We're going to select continue on the old iPhone and now the new one here just rebooted but on the old one we are getting the message to factory reset and erase that iPhone. You can say continue to factory erase it. My personal recommendation is select not now so that you can check whether everything is working absolutely fine on your new iPhone or not. And then once you are happy with the results, then you can go ahead and reset your old one by going into settings. Once you are in settings, you will go into general and herein you will scroll down. You have the option of transfer or reset iphone you're going to say erase all content and settings and there it is peeps that is how you transfer data from your old iphone to your new iphone